Happy Newsday Oil Traders. It is 2.55 p.m. Eastern Time on October 12th, Newsday um, on this Thursday here this week. And wow, what a ride. And as you might have guessed, as is predictable for me, I missed most of the ride, um, as is usually the case for me. Um, but it was still a good day. So as planned, I got out of the two short positions that I was holding uh, most recently. The one from uh, yesterday purchased at 51.27, and the one from Tuesday at uh, purchased at a crude price of 50.55. So I sold both of those at um, near the lows of 50.28 shortly after the open. Um, ultimately, we went lower than that, but uh, not at the time, at least. And I sold those two for a average return of 1.86 percent or uh, about $460 there, as you can see on my results page on tradingjournal.ca. Um, so here you have the, the listing here, uh, today's date for the sale, and uh, the two purchase dates, the 10th and 11th. So bought on the 10th, bought on the 11th, sold both on the 12th um, for an average about one and a half day hold. 1.86%, um, not bad, $600, um, or excuse me, $460. Um, yeah, nothing to sneeze at. So happy with that. Um, that being said, lots of missed opportunities. Lots and lots of missed opportunities. Um, when we did uh, go down, I had put in a buy order to go long at 50.10 or 50.12, um, which of course we never hit. Um, and then when we shot up, I, per I put in a repurchase order for a short at 50.94, and we never made it past 50.91, of course. <laughs> So I don't know what the lesson learned there is. Um, maybe I'm just being too greedy, but uh, had I gotten both or either one of those, it would have been a really crazy profitable day, but unfortunately it wasn't meant to be. Um, ultimately, we climbed back up again after heading new lows um, as high as 5070, um, which is where I decided to purchase my short or repurchase my short again uh, following the second bounce. Um, the reason for doing so was basically uh, the gap over my next closest short is significant. Um, I'm in at uh, 49.85, I believe, and the uh, the difference over where I sold the shorts, <clears throat> which was uh, 50.28, was also pretty um, substantial. Uh, it's, you know, 42 cent difference there. So um, yeah, I mean, just looking at that alone, uh, it's pretty decent. So yeah, so basically I sold two shorts and then repurchased a small short. Um, as you can see from the results page, it was a 10% stake and a 14% stake. And now if you flip over to the portfolio, um, you can see that it, I repurchased that a 12% stake um, 41 minutes ago. Uh, so obviously I'm still completely bearish. Um, I'm not holding any longs at this point, uh, even though the news was bullish. Um, I forgot to mention, but basically um, API got it wrong this week. They were calling for a, uh, a build rather than the EIA expected report of a draw. And in fact, we got a draw bigger than EIA expected, um, so quite bearish. Um, and although we are down on the day, um, certainly we tried to go up quite a few times and tomorrow we might be back over 51. Um, so we'll see. And if we are, you know, as you can imagine, I'll be rebuying uh, that second short that I sold today. But there's profits in the bank, so at least there's that. How did you guys do? Did you catch any of these swings today? Let me know in the comments down below on YouTube or over on tradingjournal.ca where you can get more information on my portfolio, trades, charts, performance, etc. Um, in the meantime, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to stay tuned, and I'll check back with you guys tomorrow, Friday, uh, ahead of trading at uh, 9.30 a.m. Eastern Time. Till then, good luck. Cheers.